is a YouTuber's incessant ranting about force feedback annoying enough to motivate a programmer to reprogram IRFFB to work with Assetto Corsa Competition? Apparently so, because in this video we're going to be taking a look at ACC FFB, which is IRFFB for Assetto Corsa Competition. Fasten your seatbelts and let's go. This video is sponsored by bsimracing.com. Bookmark it right now. bsimracing.com. All your sim racing news in a handy location, updated regularly. The guy that runs it is having a divorce. bsimracing.com. Check it out. I'm going to try and explain this in as quick and as uh, streamlined a way as possible. Uh, so I don't waste your time. Wow, what a, what, a, what a nice chap this guy is. I'm subscribing and liking this channel. Um, so, if you don't know IRFFB, IRFFB is an application for iRacing that allows you to have additional force feedback effects or a different force feedback from what iRacing would just have by default. And a lot of people, including myself, basically don't wouldn't play iRacing if it wasn't for IRFFB and specifically the IR, IRFFB's seat of the pants effect and that seat of the pants effect what it does is it conveys the traction loss or the your rotation of a vehicle through the force feedback as a varied force through the force feedback that gives you a really good idea of how much the car is rotating and how much you'll rotate before the car just gives out and you lose control or just how much you're overdriving the vehicle it absolutely transforms i racing so if you didn't know about that you play i racing check out irffb now following on from my ranting about acc uh, having really dull, uninformative force feedback. As I say, uh, Jebba <laughs> was like, hang on a minute, uh, IRFFB I is open source, so I can retool and recode it so that it then works with ACC. And that is what he's done. So we now basically have IRFFB for a set of course competition. And the point of that is that we can now have the seat of the pants effect in ACC and not just iRacing and the reason why you'd want to do that with ACC in particular is that ACC again like iRacing it's gone from a development perspective they've gone for a very literal uh, steering rack approach so that the steering wheel uh, forces you get from the in-game force feedback is very similar to what a real car steering wheel forces are which um, unfortunately many real world cars especially cars with power steering they don't actually give that much information through the force feedback uh, through the steering wheel like in a real car you're predominantly driving through the g forces you're driving from visuals the sound but predominantly the g forces of what you're feeling through your bottom as the car moves all the g forces vary you can literally feel like the tire flex and everything all through your body you can you can literally drive a real car with no no force feedback and i have driven real cars that where the steering wheel like it was irrelevant what was coming out through the wheel um a lot of real cars do also have very detailed steering wheel feel but there's a lot where they don't so the problem is that developers that do this realistic steering approach it's like well you're missing details that are vital to drive from <laughs> so a little bit of a problem there and unless you literally spend five thousand pounds on a motion rig with traction loss and all this other stuff um there's no way to feel it so wh how are people supposed to drive properly that that's my argument anyway with that said at least with this seat of the pants effect in ir ffb and acc ffb we do start to get some of those sustained detailed forces back through the wheel allowing us to drive in my opinion uh how you drive in reality or how i would drive in reality is by feeling the g-forces and reacting to it and instead of feeling it through my bum i would feel it through the steering wheel um so, to install this, what you need to do is you need to get ACC FFB. This is a, an alpha preview version that I've got here. This is very, very early stuff. This is the hacked, cobbled together version. Um, might even change the name of this in the future. There's, there's stuff happening. <laughs> but the link to the alpha of ACC FFB is in the description. So, you need to get that. You also need to get a piece of software called Hid Hider. Um, Hid Hide. And what that does is it allows you to disable uh, USB devices. When you launch a specific game, you can make it so that that game can't see 
certain game controllers. So I've created a profile here, and when it's active, um, the uh, uh, when 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 I run ACC, uh, basically it will not see the Fanatec wheel. So I'll explain why that's important in in a second. And uh, this hit hard's really good actually if you use your sim rig for flight sim as well as driving simulators because you can. Um, you can leave all your stuff plugged in and then just have it so that when you run Microsoft Flight Sim or your steering wheel and stuff isn't displayed in the game so you don't have all these devices. Great piece of software. Uh, I'll explain why that's important for this in a second. You also need to have VJoy um, installed for this to work um, exactly the same as you need to have it for IRFFB. Now the reason you need this sort of convoluted array of software for this to all work is that what's happening is vjoy is emulating a steering wheel like a virtual fake steering wheel um hid hide is hiding your fanatec or osw or whatever your normal wheel is that the acc would see and then a and acc ffb is controlling the force feedback for your virtual vjoy steering wheel so once you've installed everything and you've hidden your steering wheel um your in my case my fanatec wheel um, from the game <laughs> um, you should you don't want to hide the vjoy devices you should have or your, v, your, your vjoy device should be available and what will happen is if you've hit your fanatec wheel your whatever wheel you've got you've got vjoy running you've got acc force feedback running when you then go into a set of course competition when you bind the steering access it will be detected as a vjoy device and uh, then you you that's it <laughs> you're you're now you're now using acc ffb um if when you bind it you find that the steering is off at a slight angle uh, and doesn't sort of bind center the bar might look like that but your wheel is centered on what you need to do is you need to go into your windows devices uh, controllers and look for the vjoy device and then calibrate it so it's all recentered and then it'll all be centered uh, you're basically just calibrating your virtual steering wheel or your v-joy steering wheel as if you were calibrating uh, a joystick or something else and then it should all work perfectly that might sound complicated but at the end of the day if i can do it an inebriated chipmunk can so there's no excuse for you guys and it's one of those things where once you've done it it's it's all right there's there's a few components but honestly it's not that hard now in terms of the actual acc ffb settings i'll go through them quickly but I just want to mention as well, once you have bound your steering access and it's a, the VJoy device, you can enable your Fanatec wheel in hid hide again or, or make it so that the game can see it um, so that you can then bind your shift and buttons and everything uh, to ACC. Like ACC will be able to see all your Fanatec stuff just as it would otherwise. And as long as you don't click on uh, the steering axis, uh, it's fine because it will just stay as the VJoy axis and that's totally that's totally hunky dory now in terms of the settings of acc ffb you will need to make sure that your wheel is selected with fanatec wheels you will have two wheels detected there if you pick the wrong one it will say can't bind, bind axis or something or come up with an error um so you'll know if it's the right one you've got selected uh, also if you select the wrong one there just won't be any force feedback so that's another good clue that you've got the wrong one picked if you're not using a fanatec wheel you will have any wheel will come up there you know I don't know, it'll be whatever your wheel is called in Windows. We'll pop up here, just select it. So, the settings here for ACC FFB, you have an ACC FFB overall strength, which I just put on 60 here. And then right now, all we've got is a seat of the pants effect and seat of the pants offset. Now, um, the seat of the pants effect is obviously the what we want, which controls the uh, rotational yaw and the strength of that. And you will want to dial this in because if you have it too strong, you'll find that if your car is oversteering, you'll have the force feedback will keep turning, turning, turning to the oversteer. And if you're in a tank slapper, you'll find everything goes a bit crazy and it'll just be far too over the top and it will make the steering like ridiculously overactive and it'll just make things harder to drive and completely de defeat the purpose of, of using uh, this software. Um, so you'll want to dial that in so that you can basically just feel a range for the back stepping out it's very obvious once you've got it set up um and uh it will depend on the wheel you've got and the uh the, the, the strength of your wheel you've got um and also the strength of how you like your acc force feedback as to how high you you'll want this and dial it in so it'll be a little bit of tweaking there for your own personal preference um the 
seat of the pants offset what that does is it puts in like a dead zone before the uh seat of the pants effect will actually kick in so you could get a certain amount of slip um before or, or, or rotational on the rear before it, you'll actually feel anything through your wheel uh, to be honest, I think it's better having that at zero because you just want to feel stuff immediately. You want to feel as soon as it's starting to go, you can feel that through your force feedback with a really nice little bit of a, a tug there, which is really nice on braking, actually, which I'll talk a bit more about later. So uh, that is basically it all set up there. We've got this sort of dialed into roundabout settings. Um, you you can set, as I say, you're, you, this is still using Assetto Course of Competition's force feedback, so you're still feeling all the other stuff that ACC normally uses. We've just added the additional layer of the uh, seat of the pants effect to it so i'm gonna i'm just gonna put this on 56 here and uh we're gonna get driving and i'm gonna say how this actually affects the the handling and it's not subtle i mean it's not subtle in how it affects it <laughs> so it's really really good that such a simple such a small thing has such a big impact on driving for people like me that particularly drive from the force feedback and what i found as soon as using this i found that i could quite happily run with much lower traction control and much further rear brake bias with less issues and more awareness of what the back of the car is doing so as you if you get on the throttle too early and the back's starting to pop out you get a really nice subtle tug on the steering that lets you know exactly what the back of the car wants to be doing and gives you a, a, a range for the back of the car so that you're like okay well that's it's, it's just popping out a little bit i'm just a, i'm just on a tiny bit of slip and that's where i want to be holding it and so right well, now i know i can counter steer it or i know that the back wants to come out more you just know exactly what's going on with the rear. <laughs> it's really, really uh, fantastic. And it gives you a target to aim for through the force feedback. So this is one of the things I really love about, well, about IIFFB with iRacing, but particularly the force feedback in the original Assetto Corsa. I really like that you know when you're at the optimal slip angles in terms of what's good for lap time, from the force feedback you know that you're on it or you're not on it and you, you then have that feedback to know what you're doing if you're doing something right or something wrong so you're always trying to hold a very small amount of slip whilst also braking as late as possible and also driving the fastest line through through the given corner so if you if you're feeling the force of the the slip a little bit plus you know you've broke as late as possible plus you also know you're driving a good racing line well, you're going to be on or very close to the absolute optimal um, pace that you, you can get through through the corner, or, you, or you're going to certainly know that you could have driven it harder. What's also really nice, um, which is surprised me, because I don't notice this so much in uh, iRacing with it, um, when you're braking, the... Um, Obviously, you know, you have ABS and traction control in this, but not all the cars. I think the Porsche, the Porsche Cup, one of the Porsche Cup cars doesn't have, um, doesn't have ABS. So you have ABS, so the cars are very normally very stable on braking, and you're normally braking in more of a straight line. But if you are really hammering the brakes and you've got the ABS on less sensitive settings, um, you, you can, again, you can feel the back starting to step out on the braking. Um, which is really handy for certain corners where you're going down a hill and you, you maybe you are demanding more from the back or you're trail braking and you want to really feel that effect that you are actually trail braking. You want to feel something through the force feedback for the fact that you are trail braking, which I find um, has a really nice immersive quality to it. Again, it feels like something's actually bloody happening when you're doing stuff as opposed to it feeling that you're just driving a, a, a plank around the track that's in some kind of groove and then not in a groove, in you know, just on and off plank, which is how ACC force feedback mostly feels, default force feedback feels to me. Um, and I, I think, you know, if you use this, if you're someone that's used ACC force feedback before and then you use this, you'll, you, you will get, you'll be like, oh, yeah, hang on, I think I see what Game of Muscle was onto in terms of being able to feel more of the mass of the car and what the car's doing, as opposed to it just being 
on and on and off for certain things. <laughs> Hopefully this triggers a ACC fans. That's the main thing here. But this is, as I say, it is a, a very early alpha. Let's turn the track control all the way off. It is a very, very early alpha of the of ACC FFB, ACC's IR FFB. It's very early. Um, hopefully more will be, be able to be done. I've had lots of ideas. I've been chatting to Jobba about it. See how I caught the car there like a pro. I've been chatting to him about it uh, uh, and stuff that I think would be awesome. And uh, the guy that's programmed it absolutely knows what he's doing. He's, he's uh, a little bit more intelligent than me, which is fantastic because I'm just here to just whinge and complain and motivate people that actually have good work ethic, uh, are intelligent and know what they're doing to, to do stuff that makes the world better. I'm just here to make it worse. So go and check it out, guys. Also... Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out our Discord. I will put a chat room in our Discord, which I'll link in the description here, um, where people can talk about this um, and what they think of it. Check out that. But uh, that is uh, that is pretty much it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Happy tea drinking, happy sim racing, and goodbye, everyone. <laughs>